promptly here since I screwed it. I don't know what happened with that other link, but something was messy. Here, Ingrid, I'm going to go to lunch. I don't want to leave that hanging out. All right. Thank you so much. You bet. I could lift Start with I our hamstring out. stretch as soon as you're ready. Did he have complete shoulder replacement? Yes. Yep. Oh, good. He was, I mean, he was totally very good. happy and um, yeah, no pain. That gave me incentive to let my doctor know I'm, I'm, I'm ready. Because all mine is doing is giving me pain these days. So not good. He asked about every single one. <laughs> every. Let's go across the body. Okay. Okay, butt hip anchored down to the ground. If you're not feeling much stretch, try bringing your leg up higher before you <clears throat> cross. That's good. I'm glad he's doing well. And it's probably better that he's there because he's probably not as motivated to do it at home. Oh, right. He wouldn't have done it at home. Yeah. They're really working him hard. Yeah. And that place is no joke. If you don't cooperate, they kick you out. Oh, wow. Yeah. What place is this? Smith Ranch. Any of those skilled nursing facilities, if they're not making their top dollar off of you because you're not cooperating with all the therapies, they kick you out. Uh -huh. Yeah, my grandmother came out of that place stronger than I've ever seen her before because they were making her walk on the treadmill, ride the bike, do this, do that. Oh, good. And it's going away from the body. Oh. Thank you, depending on what you're there for. So if you've had a stroke, you do speech therapy, occupational therapy, physical therapy, and then occupational therapy may be like getting yourself showered one day, getting yourself dressed the next day and stuff. And then they make you do exercises too. And Oh, that's great. That is yeah. Great. That's really good. I just don't know if I'd want to be in that situation right now. But No, I wouldn't mind going there for outpatient, but I don't think they have that. They do, but maybe not now during COVID. I don't know if the... Oh, right. That's right. Because he's in isolation. Yeah. He, has, he said he has to stay in his room. Right. So they probably time. bring everything to you and wipe everything down. And... Yeah, that's right. Yeah. He said he's really bored. Yeah. All right. Let's go figure four. That's why he talked to you for an hour. <laughs> Because his wife probably hangs up after five minutes. <laughs> Sad but true. Sad but true is right. He wanted, he said, tell me the real reason um, Rebecca left. I said, I don't know the real reason. I don't even remember. And he was, he was not going to let that go. I said, Probably because she wanted to concentrate on her. He's husband. bored. <laughs> what? He's bored. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But he asked, he asked individually about everybody individually by name. It was that part was very nice. It's good. Is that uh, Alan from South Africa? Mm -hmm. Cats, go ahead and switch sides. What did he have? Did he have another joint? Yeah, a shoulder. So he now he has two new knees and a new shoulder, and he's going to get another new shoulder. Yeah, he's been in a T Rex world on both sides for a while. Yeah. That's when he fell down. It's just Amazon.
I got my allergies. Oh no, that's so now that I took my mask off. <laughs> oh. Tis the season. It is the season. Let's go across the body. Yeah, so Gail passed on today because she said her back was achy and she didn't know if she could do much. So she took a pass for today. So then there were four. <laughs> so Lori, who have you talked to about doing your shoulder? Nobody. I oh. I, I um I I am going to talk to center. I mm. We meant she asked. Let's go away from the body. She asks me about it periodically, and I say I'm not ready. And, and now, just the last few months, it's just, it's gotten really bad. Yeah. So I'm just going to talk to her and ask the guy who did my hip, who he would, who he knows there, who just does shoulders. I like Dr. Ma. M-A. M-A? Mm -hmm. Is he UCSF? Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. I mean, there may be someone else newer, right? I mean, I haven't done shoulders in three years, but that's who I liked before. Okay. And does, does he only do shoulders? He does some knees too, but mostly shoulders. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll um, check him out. Thank you. You're welcome. M-A. Okay. He's really funny. I like him. He's a good person on top of a good doctor. Oh, good. I love oh. Well, nice to have a groaning just doing stretches today. What can? I used to have a funny surgeon. Sometimes they have no personality. I know. I know. I like Dr. Cox, though. He was adorable. But he's a really, like, he's a nice person, too, and you can tell. He yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, some surgeons don't. Strictly business. Track. So now let's go on to our side. We'll do the quad stretch. Wrong foot. Kathy Ann, try to pull your knee back a little more. Pull your whole thigh back. Get a little more stretch. That's your tight side. There you go. Yeah. Same with you, Kim. Pull your whole thigh back. You don't have to bend your knee more, but pull, yeah. And you get more stretch. Okay. Yeah, I can feel it. I feel the difference. <laughs> yeah, so this isn't all about the knee bend. You can also... If your heel doesn't want to go to your butt, then pull your whole thigh back more and you can increase the stretch. 
Yeah, Rebecca's been training for her CrossFit Opens and like has to do all these virtual competitions of her fastest mile and her heaviest deadlift. And then she has to report all her data and then it tells her where in the world she sits on her age group women in the CrossFit world. Oh, wow. Sides. Wow. All over other side. How old is, is Rebecca? She's 47, I believe. 46, 47, somewhere in that range. Okay. Trying to think how old she was at her last birthday. It's already been a year, so. She was just had a birthday in March. You could probably do some digging on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> Is she doing well though? Yeah, I think she's loving it. She's coaching a lot more and okay. um, she's getting a wellness degree. Oh, okay. So that's really fun for her. So she's kind of back in school and nice. doing that too, which is great. What is her um, wellness degree? What is that? So I think she's like having to take things about diet and nutrition and how to understand um, like blood results and stuff. So if you went and went to a doctor and they said, hey, we need to put you on all these medications because your blood sugar is high and your cholesterol is high and blah, blah. She could talk to you about, you know, how you can change stuff diet wise and, you know, not have to go on meds and exercise and stuff like that. So just a wellness and health coach. Cause I think a lot of people get suckered into the drug world. All right, let's go into our backs. Let's put our clam band around the thighs just above the knees for bridges today. So yeah, it's kind of an interesting concept, right? Like just help yeah. people through. Hey, you know what, it's hard. I used to, uh... Proctor uh, some tests for one of my employees' husband. He was, uh, you know, taking that. And I'd look at the test and I go, "Oh my god!" Yeah, it was like hard, hard science. Yeah, and I mean, she has a lot of background in science, anatomy, and physiology. Are we on our back, Carolyn. All right, so feet hip width apart. We're gonna do a double leg bridge, hip width apart. You're gonna open past hip width back to hip width, lower down. And so you're gonna bridge up, open, back to hip width, not narrower, and then down. And then make sure as you open that you don't lose your height. So keep your butt really pressing towards the ceiling. Ready, go. So up, open, don't lose height. Back to hip width and down and control the back end. Don't let the band whoosh, recoil, right? We're gonna go for a minute. And then I'm gonna tell you at a minute, you're gonna stay at the top and we're just gonna do open, close, open, close, staying at the top height for 30 more seconds at the end. But keep going up and down right now. Oh, I like it that you're mixing it up. Yeah, I couldn't give you the really hard bridges again. You guys all complained about that last week. <laughs> I'll throw them in in another I, week or two. I was sore again. That was good. Yeah, that's a good thing. Whoops. I was sore a little higher up. On the top of your glutes? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay, so stay up at the top of this bridge and now you're just gonna open, close, open, close. Don't lose height. Make sure the open close is coming from your butt muscles, not just by rolling your feet. Good, keep your core tight, keep those glutes thrusting the hips towards the ceiling while you open and close. And down. Oh. So that get a burn or no? Oh, burn. Yeah, it could burn. Oh. Yeah. Carolyn, no burn? No burn. None? None. Oh. Wow. Buns of steel. Okay. Do 200 more right now. 
Yeah, <laughs> go for another 30 seconds on your own. Everyone else is done. <laughs> okay, let's now go on to our side with the band on. We'll do our clamshells. If you want to do a little bit of time in the side plank position, go for it. If you just want to do down flat, you can do it as well. All right. Do Ready? Six clamshells. Set, go. Oh, Kim's going for it. Nice. I can I can do six or seven. That's it. Okay. Laura, you can do the left side. That's true. You don't want to be lopsided. Well, no, it's just <laughs> now that I'm situated, I don't want to miss out. Okay. <laughs> next next, next time. Week. I'll, <laughs> remind me next time to because okay. <sighs> that's 30 seconds in. It's just a big production to move because it is and it's hard to stay balanced i have to 45 well, seconds in let's see if the ladies can make it past a minute today Oof. <laughs> there's 60 seconds in how are we doing carol admitting yeah. defeat <laughs> <laughs> go for the whole 90 let's do it This way, Carolyn will get a burn since she missed it on the bridge. <laughs> Five more seconds. Done. Nice. <laughs> Other side. Woo. Everyone situated, ready, go. Kim, this shows your core is getting a lot stronger. That's great. You could not have done a side plank five years ago when I met you. That's 30 seconds in. Forty five seconds. There's a minute. Is it harder on this side, Kathy Ann? A little bit. Yeah. For some reason, usually the left is my stronger side, but. Right, but your right knee's got to lift up too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you're getting more symmetrical the more we're doing all this one leg strengthening stuff. Oh, good. And down, good. Okay, so this next one might be a little tricky for some of you, but I think we'll be able to do it. Okay, so we're gonna go on all fours. We've done where we've done kick the leg up, out, back, down. What I wanna try to do today is put my leg out to the side. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do clockwise circles and counterclockwise circles. We're only gonna do 30 seconds of each because it's really hard. Yeah. And you can get your leg directly out to the side, great. If it has to be on kind of a 45, do it on a 45. Have your hands on firm ground, don't have them on your mat if your wrists are sore, right? So go towards the edge of the mat. Let me grab my timer. <laughs> okay. All right, so hands under shoulders, knees under hips, take one straight leg out to your side. It takes a little weird weight shift. 
And then you're gonna try to go clockwise. Ready, go. Oh my God. It's hard. You weren't kidding when you said it's hard. Little circles. Ooh. Gets to where your butt wants to cramp. Try to keep your hips as level as you can, but enough to clear your leg off the ground. Ten more seconds. And rest. Oh. Oh man. <laughs> That's a good one. Woo. Everyone's rubbing their butt. That's a good sign. <laughs> the right spot. Uh-huh. It cramps quickly. Huh? It cramps quickly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so now we're gonna go counterclockwise. Same leg out to the side. Ready? Go. <laughs> I'm less coordinated this way. <laughs> this is. <laughs> I don't even Be feel. Burn. Like... I don't even feel like it's going in a circle. Five seconds, keep it up. Oh man. And rest. Oh. Holy cow. All right. Oh my god. Oh. oh, that was a good one. Woo. Now wiggle your butt side to side there. Get a nice stretch as you shift your weight to one side to the other. It'll kind of give your booty a little stretch there. Everyone's wrists and arms doing okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. All right, other side. Other leg out. This is my good hip, hopefully it'll be easier. All right, ready, go. Clockwise first. Oh. Feels totally different than my other side. I gotta do these more. Half leg. Five seconds, keep breathing. And down. Oh, Oof, just the time. <laughs> different right to left for everyone? Yep. Yep. I know, and now my right hip's still burning, just kneeling on it. <laughs> Ready for the other direction? Oh, to the side. Counterclockwise. Ready? Go. Today. Booty burned today. Yeah. Okay, for the next two, we need our dumbbells. Three, five, tens, whatever you got. I'm going to use eight. Let's see. Can I get in a good spot? If you need a chair to help remind you how deep to squat, grab a chair. You got to get up. If not, just grab your hand weights. <clears throat> <Ooh. laughs> okay. okay. So what I'd like to do is hold our dumbbells up by our shoulders. All right. I'm trying to think. I can't figure out how to get this adjust. We're just not going to see my feet. 
All right, you're gonna trust that I have good form on my squat. So what you're gonna do is keeping your dumbbells here, you're gonna squat down, stand up, overhead push. Lori, if you can't do the overhead push, just keep the weights in front by your shoulders just to add weight to your squats. Okay. Squat, okay. press. Okay. Ready, set, go. And if you can't get low on your squat, take your stance a little wider. I need to rest. I'm sorry. What? I need to rest and catch my breath. Oh, yeah. These are tiring. So squat. <laughs> Wait to do it too. Do it with you. <coughs> Make sure as we squat down, those knees stay stable, hip width apart. Don't let the knees wobble in. Halfway. Oh. Everyone's arms okay? Yep. 20 seconds. Oh man, I can't do my weight anymore. I just have to do the squats. Five seconds. Done. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to keep one weight. And you can use a table, a chair, your own leg. I want to take my torso over to at least a 45, if not flatter. If I'm really upright, I'm not really lifting against gravity. And Lori, if you want to just do your own weight of your arm on the bad side, and then you can probably do a weight on the good side. Okay, I'll do the good side first. All right. Wait, we're going straight back? Yes. So the emphasis is not on the bend. The emphasis is on straightening up against gravity. So oh. take your torso over. All right, ready, go. So, Kathy, can you get more of an angle? Same with you, Carolyn. Lean over more. Yeah, and then focus on the hold up. Oh. Back, hold on the extension. Down slow. Don't bend so much. Just hang straight down and then back. So you don't have to do a bicep curl. Oh. So arm stays glued into your side. So I'm just going to go from, like, straight perpendicular to the ground. Parallel to the ground, perpendicular to the ground. Oh, there we go. Keep the, um, we're keeping the elbow. Upper arm is glued to your side with super glue. I see. Everyone's getting the hang of it now. Feeling the triceps now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Switch sides. Oh. <laughs> All right. Get that torso over, right? Try to get that upper arm almost parallel to the ground, perpendicular to parallel. Ready? Go. Okay. Uh, uh, I'll just wait. You can do it, Lori. Come on. Get in that position, squeeze your shoulder blades together, get your shoulder up good, and then just bend and straighten your elbow. Nothing else moves. Yeah, that's it. Keep your shoulder blades pulled back. Good posture. You can do it. Okay. <laughs> okay, I don't trust you, but. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like just my wrist is moving. No, your elbow's moving. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. It's moving. Not as much, but it's moving. Not as oh. much as the other side. Okay. 
There we go. Oh man. Okay, good. Very nice. Okay, so does everyone have a spot where you can do calf raises off a step? Yes. Yeah? Yep. Okay. How about you, Kathy Ann? Um, do you have a step out on your deck there that you could take us a few feet? It's, uh, no, just a couple inches. That's enough. We want to just be able to have your heels drop below. Or do you have a yoga block you could stand on? Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. That might work. So we want to get where the toes and the ball of the feet are the only part on the stairs. And you're going to rise up as high as you can, like we always do. So you're going to slowly lower by your heels. I'm losing my balance. Drop below, up high, slowly drop below. Have something to hang on to back for balance because the slower we go, the more we load up the muscles. Does that feel stable? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Everyone else is good. Lori, are you on your stair? My stairs. Okay. Ready? Go. I can see you. You're, back on my you're trying to yoga block too. Good. Okay. Oh, you're kind of tilts on the carpet. Yeah. Can you just do your treadmill? It's, it's at an angle right now. Oh, <laughs> okay. Just don't fall down. Yeah, I'm holding on. Yeah, that slow below really helps to build the tensile strength in our Achilles and prevent tendonitis. Halfway. Really focus on driving up on the big toe knuckles. Try not to let the weight roll out to the pinky toe side of your foot. Thirty more seconds. Keep it up. Good. So then let's go back to wherever we do our calf stretch or runner stretch. Okay. That was good, Daniel. I know that burns so much more, but it also helps that if you end up like stepping back and there's like a give or so the floor was lower than you thought, it'll prevent yeah. from tearing your Achilles. Yeah. Make sure hips and feet pointed straight ahead. Drive your heel into the ground. Shift the weight forward onto that front leg. Oh. I think I'm gonna have like 30 seconds to spare today. I did good. <laughs> well, good class, Danielle. Yeah. As Thank always. You. You're thanking me tomorrow and your booty burns. I think my right yeah. booty is gonna burn a lot more than my left one. It's amazing though, since I haven't played water polo much in a year, I have no hip problems, but when I do stuff like that, I still have a hip problem. <laughs> it points it out. But I get to coach for the first time this weekend. I'm so excited. Wow. I have three camps and I get to actually coach little kids again. It's gonna be oh. so good. Wonderful. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. Okay, let's go ahead and switch sides. Make sure that back foot's lined up straight ahead. Your hips are straight ahead. 
Because if your hips open up, we lose a lot of the stretch and glue that back heel down to the ground, really lengthen that back leg. Don't lose any of that as you shift forward. Okay, that's a wrap. Less than a minute to spare, but I did it. Woo! <laughs> all right, nice work, ladies. Thank you. We'll see you all next week. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Daniel. All right, bye. Bye. Bye, bye. bye everybody. Bye. bye. bye.